No, all right. I see a fella right there. Right where? There's a pirate fella. He looks like he's perfect. It's perfect, Junior. Come on this way. Let's go. Come on up, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Come on up. It's the easiest thing you ever have yeah, to do. Yeah, fun. Come on. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Come on. This will be more fun than trying to find your car in the parking lot when you're done here. Yeah, I'll see you right here. Hey, now listen, folks. Y'all can help us out. Move yourselves right on up to the edge of the cobblestones. That way we have a nice little semi-circle. Strollers can get by behind you. And plus... Fellas, the picking part is done. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Hey, Mayor, uh, I do see a problem here. What? We got Wait. three. We got three studs here, but we don't have a master of ceremonies for this thing. Oh, clam! Call me the problem solver then, because I, I can take care of that part myself. You? What makes you think you're qualified? Qualified, smallified. I got the outfit. Wow, yeah. the crowd goes wild. Yeah. You look like a big almond broke up. Will you get out of here? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the Frontierland Wild West Wind Roundup. Time to make these three cowboys' dreams come true. So here she is now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Thought we ought to blindfold these fellas. Yeah. <laughs> blindfold these fellas. Yeah. <laughs> come here, Clay. What? Uh, I'm only bringing out Sally Mae. You're right. I'll get the shackles and nail that one to the seat. No, no. Oh, wait. Uh oh, are we losing number three, I think? Yeah, oh, I don't right. think he wants to do that. That's all right, buddy. That's Let's right. hear for him. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, this all kid's right. raising his hand up. up. Oh, you got with his yeah, hand up? Kid. Take him. Get Curly Cop Top, top up there. there. Uh, what's your name, buddy? Joe. Joe, give Joe a big yeah. hand. Great, we got Joe. Fellas, remove your eye pieces and let's get to it. Because here she is now. She's the three-time goat milk and champagne of the frontier. The pride of the Ponderosa. The very fruit of my looms. Oh, why, folks, I feel it necessary to let you know that Sally Mae, she's won every pie-eating contest ever held out here in the land. She's the reigning Miss Butterfat. <laughs> she's this month's cover of Field and Stream magazine and the very reason God made Oklahoma. Now listen up. It's going to take each and every one of you to make my little girl feel welcome. So put them together for Sally Mae. How y'all doing? Clem Clock Hopper! Where you been, boy? Get over here before I send a posse after you. I don't feel good. No. Oh, hold him, Daddy. I know mouth to mouth. I I'm fine, I'm fine. Daddy, what's going on? What? You told me Clem's gonna marry me and he keeps running away. Hey now, I never said anything about marrying you. That ain't what you said last night when we was pulling taffy. Oh, oh now, Sally. Yeah. Hey, Sally, Sally, what are you doing? That's my homegirl. Yeah, all right, come here. <laughs> Part. Now listen carefully. I don't want you to get upset, but Clem has decided he don't want to marry you no more. I don't care what Clem wants, Daddy. I gotta get married. I can feel it on the inside. My clock is ticking. Yeah, well, it looks like your alarm is going off. Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's a problem. Wait, wait, slow down, honey. Uh, Leave him be. What? Because we don't need him. What? Looky here. Yeah. Daddy's lined you up three potential husbands. You did this for me? Yeah. Well, all right, Daddy. I'm going to start right here in the middle and work my way out. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, honey. Hey, big boy. Sally. Uh, oh, he likes it. Daddy. I'm not sure he likes it. I think you scared him. Uh, honey, what? maybe I wasn't clear in my description. See, you don't get all three of these fellas. What? You're supposed to just pick one. Just one? One should work it. Oh, well, I'll be fair about it. Eeny, meeny, miny, and give me some more. No, 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 Sally. <laughs> You come up with three good questions. Uh -huh. These fellas, they're going to have three great answers. Oh. Then we'll take, compare, and contrast and pick the best husband for you. Oh, all right. Well, I got a question all ready to go. All right. Potential husbands, I want y'all to pretend that you are a wild animal on the wild frontier. <laughs> and I do mean the wild ones. Yeah, all right. So. <laughs> yeah. I got to test their reflexes. Yeah, yeah. Now, as I was saying, Based on your personality, what animal would you be? All right then, cowboy number one. Think about it, you're a wild animal on the wild frontier. What wild animal would you be? A bear! Very good answer, a yeah. bear. And I'm a big old pot of honey. Yeah, all right, now, now, yeah. now, all right. That's good, good answer, sir. Cowboy number two, you're a wild animal on the wild frontier. What wild animal would you be? Mountain lion. A mountain lion! Yeah! 
Yeah, you be lying to me, I'll push you off that mountain. No, 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 no. I don't care what it is. He lies to me, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. dirty. All right. Cowboy number three, you're a wild animal in the wild frontier, sir. What wild animal would you be? A chicken. A chicken. A chicken. A chicken. <laughs> me too, dude. Cut it out. Yeah, that, that's cute and all, but what is that? My starter kit? Yeah, no, what do you mean? I mean, I need a man, not someone I gotta drop off at soccer practice. Yeah, all right, look. Let's just do the next question all and see right, what happens. All right. Potential husband, listen up, this romantic question. Now, I want y'all to pretend that we are aboard the Mark Twain Riverboat. It is our honeymoon cruise. You are going to sweetly serenade me. What song will you sing? Oh, that is good, cowboy number one. Think about it, you and Sally Mae on your honeymoon cruise. Time for you to sing her a love song. What romantic love song would it be? Run, baby, run. Run, baby, run! <laughs> yeah, I can catch a jackrabbit, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna present no problem. Yeah, well, that, was a, uh, that was a good try there, sir. Uh, tell my number, number two, maybe I wasn't clear. We're looking for a love song, something nice and romantic. So what love song would you sing for Sally Mae? You don't bring me flowers. Either. You don't bring me flowers. <laughs> oh. That is kind of sweet, but you ain't gonna need no flowers. Yeah, that was a good answer. Careful, you might win. Cowboy uh, yeah, number three, you and Sally Mae on your honeymoon cruise. You look and see her in the doorway, and a love song pops in your head. So tell us, what romantic song would you sing for Sally Mae? Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? <laughs> hey, I put that blindfold on. Oh, there. be quiet, you. Who let? Number three said, who Yeah, I heard the... what he said. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's really cute. Who let the dog? Yeah, that's my. I got a song for him. Oh, really? What is yeah. it? Yeah. Who pushed me off my stool? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What? You can't push him off his stool. It's only about a three foot drop. Yeah, no, no, no. That's not going to work. Why not? You know what? Because everybody's looking. Y'all close your eyes. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. I mean. I bet we'd better serve to just do the third question and finish. Oh, all right. Well, this question's ain't working, Daddy. I'm going to change this up. Question number three is going to be a role-playing activity so I can get a gauge of their working man skill set. Now, potential husbands, I want y'all to pretend that you are farmers and pretend that I'm a pig. <laughs> <laughs> she said pretend she's a pig. Give <laughs> it up, dude. Right, fine, full <laughs> As I was saying, I want y'all to call me home with your best blue ribbon, sweet piggy piggy cow. All right, cowboy number one, I know you're going to be good at this. Cut loose. Let's hear your best sweet piggy piggy call. <laughs> Sound like a vacuum cleaner. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sound yeah. like nothing I want to be a part yeah, of. Yeah, all right. Well, let's just move. Cowboy number two, I know you won't disappoint. Cut loose. Give us your best suey hog call. Suey! <laughs> I ain't get that. You're better than number one. <laughs> hey, the pig's really close. Yeah. Don't worry. We still got number three, young and spry, full of energy. I know he'll be nice and loud. Give us your best hog call. Come here, pork chop. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, pork chop. He's going to get a chop, all right. No, 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 no. No, no, you can't get that, boy. I told you. You're here at the happiest place on earth. That'd make me happy. Yeah, no, we're, we're not trying to make you happy. We're trying to get you married. So, listen, which... Explain that. Which one of these fellas you figure you're going to pick? Well, Daddy, I ain't quite sure yet. I, I think I need some help. Well, baby dog, don't you fret none, because I'm going to get you help. All right. From the good citizens of Frontierland. Oh, yeah. Folks, is it going to be cowboy number one? <laughs> wow, you may have dodged a bullet there, buddy. <laughs> that, was, that was like an applause yeah. vacuum. How about cowboy number two? <laughs> See, there, that's your family trying to cut you loose. Yeah. <laughs> Where's it going to be, little cowboy number three? <laughs> Put that sign down, man. I thought it said applesauce. I don't care what you thought. Put it down. All right, Sally, hmm. enough of this foolishness. All that matters is what you think. So tell us right now, who is your big choice? Well, Daddy, all these people can't be wrong. I've always been a sucker for peer pressure. I'm going to have to be little cowboy number three. Oh! Oh! Congratulations. Yeah. 
Congratulations, Sally Mae. You just made two men very happy. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, baby, before we meet the man of your dreams, yeah. let's meet the ones you didn't meet. I'd love to. Well, cowboy number one, he comes with us all the way from over there where it was standing. Uh, <laughs> sorry it didn't work out for you, sir, but here's what you missed. Meet Sally Mae. <laughs> now don't worry, sir. Your heart will heal in time. Yeah. How about some love for cowboy number one? That's real nice. Fine job. Cowboy number two. He likes to take long walks off of short piers, and it's sorry it didn't work out. He and Sally have so much in common. Yeah, man. It didn't work out. So here's what you missed. Meet Sally Mae. You were almost mine. <laughs> Let's hear it for Cowboy number two! Alright, and now, the moment we've all... Hold on, hold on, Daddy, I gotta get ready for this. The moment we've all been waiting for. Cowboy number three. Where are you from, Cowboy number three? Washington. Washington! Well, I bet you ain't got girls like this in Washington. At least I hope not. But you're bringing one home with you. Here's your baby doll, Miss Sally Mae! Your little contest didn't work, boy. You gonna marry me, and that is fine. Well, I don't no, want Sally, to know. Sally, Sally. Sally. Oh, Daddy, look. What are you doing? It's cowboy number four. No, no, no. Where did you go? Wait, no, you can't. That man has a woman with him. I can take her. Yeah, but he's never alone. <laughs> Clem Clodhopper, you get over here. What? This is all your fault. We're gonna fix this right now. You are marrying Sally Mae, and that's it. Says who? Says me. Because I'm the mayor and you ain't. You leave me no choice then. Folks, I'm running for mayor. Who's Woo! with me? Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait just one second. Are you saying you intend to run against me for mayor? I do. Grab daddy said I do. Yeah, no, no, not that. All right. All right, then. In that case, I challenge you to a big debate. Right back here at... 305. Fine, I ain't afraid of you. I'll be right here at 305. Folks, we're the Laughing Stock Company. Join us back at 305 as this saga continues. Now, folks, I promise you, I'll be the best mayor Frontier Land's ever seen. And I'll be your first lady, Clem. Yeah, I think you gotta be a lady first. What? Uh -oh. Get back here, boy. Where are you going?